Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. I have, I've been wanting to stream Slice and Dice, but I haven't had the chance because there's just so much to play. But So we're still on a 43. Nothing has changed. Uh, I kind of don't feel like playing Magical and just wasting a reroll today. I'm going to be sick, but oh boy. Two Armands, what do we have? Uh, okay, he deals four damage, and sometimes it's eliminate. Okay, he deals three damage and two petrify. Uh, one of these Armands is the correct choice. Which one do you think it is? This is not me trying to give you a moment to figure it out before I click which one I think is right. I think they're both fine. Um, are these the B effects that die? Yeah, I think the 6 HP Armand is better. The 2 Petrify is a little annoying, but for the most part I think it's pretty, pretty fine. We just have to get out of the early game pretty much. See, I... I'm glad I waited on this because I was about to press reroll and I should definitely lock this focus. I uh, I am just waking up so you'll have to give me a moment to recalibrate. Oh my god, team. Maybe it's just over already. It could be over before it starts. That wasn't a good set of rolls. That's okay though. We'll persevere. Yeah, I'm gonna kill the Armand last, typically I think. Take the redirect here. I don't want the heal. I want mana. Yeah. Oh, good job, Steve. Proud of you. Can I catch the boar? I don't think so. No, I cannot. That's okay. I think we're stabilized. We had a bad first turn, but I think we will get away from this fight now without any deaths. Well, we might have a death. I hope we do not have any deaths. I think with this roll of three mana, we should get away from this with no deaths. You're killing me. Yeah, yeah, we go slice one. Okay, we made it. And now we get our first tier two. We hope we replace either thief or student and we take this run all the way home. What's it gonna be? Oh, it's guardian or priestess. I will play guardian. I think he's pretty fine. I also don't like squire. Historically, I've been a pretty big Squire hater. His redirect side becomes very bad very quickly. That's all. I feel like I am rolling an inordinate amount of X's. Is that a word? I think that is a word. Pretty sure you can say that and it makes sense. You ever want to play Slice here and then just kill bees? No, I think it's better to just go like... 2-1 burst. I do have to kill this Armon though. Yeah, I need to kill the archer with the bow. Probably this archer with the bow. You know, I could slice. Why not? It's basically the same as bursting. It ends up with one B dead. Yeah, okay. I, I was originally a little worried about this guy, but seeing him in action... No, he's a fucking joke. This guy is not real. He is no problem. I think this one looks all right. Like Scar, I think it's very good to have the option to heal someone on turn one with your red. Sometimes your red is just gonna land on like five healing here and you're gonna go, you know what? Good enough. It messes with Guardian's uh, engage shield, but I don't mind that too much. I think it's an okay trade off anyway. Although the engage shield would be kind of nice here. I won't lie. It's okay, we'll kill the... Actually, can I kill the Armon? 2-1? No, I cannot. The Petrify is going to my Guardian. And to my student. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna hurt the Armon, I think. No, I'm gonna hit the goblin. I'm gonna kill it. I think this is a situation where you try to, like, get the goblin to flee. Like, oh yeah, I'll hit a 2 damage range next turn, and then I'm just in a worse position. The 2 damage range is going into the thorn anyway. Now, if my brigand, I was just about to say, if my brigand could just find it in his heart to give me 3 damage here, since he hasn't found it in his heart to do 3 damage yet this whole fight, or this whole run, I think it would be good if he could just wake up. Well, I guess go to sleep. Wake up, sleep, wake up, sleep. 
That's life. A lot of petrify. Our team just doesn't do any damage, so the start is very slow. But that's okay, because now we can take... Uh, oh boy, I have to random. <laughs> Alright, let me check my item again. Yeah, I need to press random here. Okay, very nice, thank you. I am not clicking gambler in this position. There's a school of thought where you would click gambler there just because you need the damage output, but I don't subscribe to it. I, I have thought it before, and I decided against it in the end. Berserker, randoming there is just a lot better. Much more likely to find something useful. Weird that everyone's taking two in this position. Interesting that it works out like that. But I'm mostly I'm just very glad that the Armand killed itself. If it did something else, I think this fight could have been a little scary. Dude, I don't know if you can hear them, but there have been like five different planes that have gone overhead since I started this recording. It's been six minutes. Where are all these planes going? Can these guys freaking shut up? I'm trying to record a video. Please delay all aircraft flights for the next 30 minutes. I'm fucking busy. Stop making all this noise. It's real rude. It's like they don't even have, it's like they don't even care. A chain to the top side. It's not great. It, I don't like single side buffs like this, especially top side. Big shield M2 is fine. Shield 8 on the left side is pretty good. We can put it on Guardian. But it's mostly just good because it gives us a roulette cover. Being, I mean, also, also, I just want to point out, this is what I'm saying about why this team feels bad. We are rolling four X's routinely on our first roll. That's not good. I'm going to take the one mana. Oh, Berserker. I know it's not your fault, but also, come on, man. Surely we can do better. I'm going to hit the shade so Berserker can kill it next turn, potentially, although he does lose two of his sides to the Petrify. Not much to be said. And we got a weekend on Splint, but we have two mana in the tank, so nothing horrific can happen to me here. Oh, he hit it. Good job, buddy. So we go four to the shade, which doesn't actually change his incoming damage at all, but that's fine, because we just heal three. Shield, shield, it's all good. We can delay once the fight is stable. It's not like I have anything coming after me fast. Single use. <laughs> it's okay. Just please, God, yeah, anything but Thief. Uh, do I want to play Herbalist instead? I think I do not want to play Herbalist instead. I feel like Juggler is the way here. Herbalist is cool and fine, but uh, I want someone who can heal so I can heal up the Scar value, and Herbalist is not good at healing. I will play Juggler, and we'll give Juggler the Scar. And I will probably play, I mean, the best character here is, oh my god, guys, please. <laughs> best character here is probably, oh my god, it's so horrific. It's probably Disciple. Okay, we made it, we made it. I just, these these rolls have been out of my control. I'm just rolling nothing but X's, so. It's a little concerning. But we're getting, we're, we're like one bad full stop away from disaster right now, it feels like to me. And I'm trying to not roll three turns of X's, basically. Unholy Strength. It's really good right up until it's terrible. I will play Wrist Blade. This is a huge bait. I think Unholy Strength is something that I used to like a lot, but it is now, I have realized, unplayable. We'll give Berserker the one damage twice, which I might actually lock here. Kills Illusions with it pretty nicely. And we go like one, 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 and I'll shield Berserker here. Could roll down to try to get a slice in, but I think that it's the sort of thing that sounds really cool, but if you tunnel vision on that, like you should just move yourself away from trying to even consider that in that position. Because if you don't have it naturally, you don't want to force it. Oh, come on, juggler. That's not good. That is really, really ugly that we went Caltrop, Caltrop. Even X's would have been fine. Caltrop, Caltrop is really unfortunate. 
I think it's one death now, guaranteed. Yeah, it's the, it's the plight of the juggler, I guess, suppose. She juggled herself. Uh, I think I will save juggler, though. I think it's, well, but she's just gonna die to the Caltrop anyway. Oh, but it's a lot of uh, effort to save Splint. If she juggles herself, so be it, I guess. Although I could still die here, I guess, is the problem. Ooh, okay, good job. She did not juggle herself. Now I just need someone to kill this blind. Oh my god. It sucks here, man. Oh my god, how do I kill this thing? Don't do a juggler. Oh, thank god. Alright. This run feels horrible, but I don't know why. Like, it, it shouldn't feel this bad. I'm not making mistakes, I don't think. It's just, like, unlikely, I guess, is all I could say. Mm hmm I mean, what do I do about this? I, it, it feels unnatural at this point. That's all I can say. It doesn't feel right or real. I'm just, like, very consistently getting stuck with 1x every turn. No counterplay. I'm gonna heal Berserker over Juggler, and we're just going to focus fire the Fanatic. My Splint might be killed here. Like, how do I... how do I stop this? I'm gonna roll for the charge side here, I think. Yeah. There we go. Now we can stop rolling and maybe we can get out of this with only one death. Uh, we have... Four damage to the Fnatic. Oh, we can actually get out of this with no deaths. That's good. I don't have a zap idea here. Thank you to Bandage. Well, my juggler is still likely to be killed here, actually. So what I should do is I should Bandage up and then Shield Splint like this. That way juggler has a less likelihood of just juggling herself. She's already a little tough. But, you know, we do what we can. Let me just take a little look here. Yeah, that's a little too unfortunate. I need to kill the M, right? For sure, for sure, for sure. So I will roll. Oh, if I'm killing the imp, I shouldn't heal Sparky. Uh, I will roll these. That works. Two damage goes there, shield goes there, and we have made it. I will kill him myself. Three quarts and... I don't really like Mark. Two damage vulnerable is, uh... Eh. For four mana, it's a little underwhelming. Uh, full Moon, I guess it's fine. I mean, look at Berserker and then look at Full Moon, right? It's a good good hit every other turn, for a while anyway. Who am I going to turn into the Wolf? I think it's going to be Berserker, and then we'll Wrist play at Guardian. I just have to not lock it, unless I'm sure. That's all. I have to be sure that it's what I want. Like, I definitely want a shield here. This gives me multiple kills, I think, because we can do... Sure. Uh, it's not quite as good as I thought. I could roll the juggler there, but I think I'll just take the one damage and call it. It doesn't really matter. Ow. He's hungry like the wolf. Go get him, champ. Juggler just went Caltrop, Caltrop, X. I, I understand. You know, it happens. It, it still feels bad. <laughs> I'm still not happy about it. Part of the character. Didn't cause me any trouble. Still feels bad. Place the rightmost side with heal to mana gain pain. <laughs> and then you can kill right over it. Uh, I will play Vampire. I think Disciple is also okay, but Vampire is just very, very good. Although, maybe you go Disciple there, actually. I wonder. I could be convinced. 
Mm, fine, fine. Could take the heal on Juggler here too. I don't hate five heal. I think it's pretty strong. And we go two, three, zap. I don't need to be afraid of the Slimelet. Slimelet doesn't win this. But he Slimelet has a track record of potentially winning this. Slimelet is winning this. I apologize for my misdeeds. This is Slimelet's fight. This is Slimelet's hour. Please stop hitting the zombie. He's already dead. Do not fear, but revel in the fact. Slimelet has been defeated. The slime is dead. GG. Juggler, don't do it. Dude. I, look, I know, I've, I've seen the comments, I've seen people say, and I agree with your stance or your opinion of like, it's not actually as bad as it seems because, you know, any character could go do this, but like, come on. Another cantrip, cantrip, cantrip. It just, and then like, you know, I have a certain number of rolls per fight, so it's likely to happen at least once per run or twice every other run or something, but like, come on, juggler. You gotta, you gotta help me out a little bit here, right? Fearless or Monocle? I hate Fearless, but it's not actually as bad as I think, so I should probably play it. I just never take it because I think it's not very good, but it's actually fine. Uh, what about Monocle, though? Add Engage to the middle side. It's okay. Or Damage Cantrip. I think I'd rather play Monocle here. I think that my Juggler's time of missing is over. Now we enter the era of the juggling. Although I think I'm going to lock this one. It's really hard for Juggler to not die in this fight, actually. I'm going to let her roll it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fight. It's good, though, because two damage kills the Armon. And I'm just going to infuse for Juggler here. I will push two damage to the Spiker, actually. It's a shame, because my Guardian also goes pretty low. But Juggler can die. So I'm going to try my best to save her. Oh my god, Spiker, please. Don't do it to me. Berserker has it. Sorry, Wolfzerker has it. Ow. He's got this shit covered. And Vampire Heal 5 saves Guardian from 5 damage. Ooh. Phew. Thank you for not juggling yourself. Wanderer is a very good pickup here. A great beacon of light in the darkness that this run has been. He wanders into my run, and he saves me from the juggling. I think Monocle on him is pretty good. I'm gonna turn my juggler into a wolf. Enough of this shit. Oh, let me see a wander. Let me see the defy. Hmm. I'll lock the two. I think it's okay. I'll also take the shield to save my juggler's HP. And we get... Oh, baby. Hold that shit for me, Rotten. Goodbye. Yeah, that's just a 16 damage... No, sorry, 18 damage hit on my man. Good turn one. I'll take it. Solid. Acceptable. Reasonable. Real. Based. I am free. Triple Null Double Carrier. Could be worse. Twisted Flax. It is a net positive on Juggler, but I feel like you want more than this out of your tier 6. Tier 6s are very stacked, and this is kind of mid. Ghost Shield. Okay, I'm gonna random though. Hmm. This is what I get. I mean, it was just silly. There was no reason to random there. Ghost Shield is good, and I should not be a fool. But I wanted to swing big. I should not have done so. Juggler continues her streak of just killing herself, so I don't know. Maybe I should just let her go. She doesn't want to be here, clearly. I can infuse my way out of this poison. It, Juggler is the character that has fucked up my mindset about this game. I realized it now. This is the reason that whenever I'm rolling dice, I'm like, am I about to kill myself? Is this where it ends? Is this how it goes? Okay, minor problem here. I opened myself up to, I didn't think about it. I don't have the mana to infuse to save Sparky. 
I actually need to roll this. I'm not going to commit to the 2 HP. I made a mistake. I'm going to try to fix it. Thank God. You can commit there and fuck yourself over, I think. I almost did it. I almost said, well, I already locked this. I may as well keep it locked. It's not right. You can admit that there was a mistake. The rolling for the chance there is fine. This is a message to me, not you. You're not playing in front of people. I feel like I need to never admit when I make mistakes, but it happens. Sometimes we fuck up. I go Warlock. For sure. He's very good. Probably the best character. Like the best tier 3. Mm, yeah, I think so. Blaze is just kind of ridiculous. We'll go 1 damage here. Blaze you. Oh, and then we can kill the Armon so Guardian doesn't die. Is that good? Not really. But 3 damage is the best thing Wanderer is going to give me. I'd just rather would roll a shield for Guardian. You can reroll Juggler too. If she juggles into Spiker, it's fine. Yeah, good job, Juggler. I appreciate that. It just sets me up for a better Blaze. Sure, that seems fine. Uh, actually, more than fine. Uh, it is lethal. I don't have Zap anymore. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Double Alpha Demon. Pair of Kings Flu. Pair of Kings is... I think pretty mid. It doesn't really do anything for this team. So I guess I'll play Flute. I like Flute. I think it's a good pickup. It goes on our juggler. When she juggles herself, we can all laugh. But now she can sometimes mitigate juggling herself. God damn it, juggler. No way. Not again. Okay. Two hits, one in 36, that's fine. I'll accept. That one's okay. You can have it. My Warlock is eating a Petrify here, which is annoying. I would like to pick up... Uh, the best character to see for this run from this position for red is Doctor, and for orange is... Uh, I don't really care. Doesn't matter who the orange is, but the red is Doctor. With Scar, being able to heal back to full easily is very nice. And... I can also use Doctor to make mana to help Warlock. The poison is whatever, but he can hold the engage item pretty nicely, and it's mana gain for Wanderer. Lots of good things for Doctor here. Um, the orange and the gray. Well, the gray is Poet. It's basically always Poet. Keeper's fine, too. I was talking about it in Cranberry's stream, though, and I realized that there's actually more bad grays than I thought. There's just two really good grays as well, is the reason that I had it mixed up. This is not one of them. I think Fencer is okay. We have Bandana too. I don't really like Stalwart, as I said recently. Stalwart is uh, underwhelming. And we can just drop off of the full moon now. It got me through the mid game. It did its job. Nobody has to become Wolfo here. Bing. Flute plus engage or defy a little bit of an anti synergy, but I don't really care. Sure. I kind of want to roll for the dodge, but it doesn't seem real. I want to kill this quartz. And I think I want to kill this Armon. This looks okay. Uh, I just don't want Warlock eating the Petrify, I feel. Yeah, I mean, they can spawn if they want to. Doesn't bother me much. We have one, two, we have one, and then we have a kill on the quartz, which is good. Negative two mana, so I can get to zero. 
You're weakened as well, but you may as well roll for the era. Okay. Now we go like this. Looks good. Basalt just took a turn off to make a slate. Yeah, please keep making slates. More time for me is good. I think we are very good at killing slates, so I'm happy to see it. And the more slates, the more era. I can also blaze if I wanna. But I don't need to, I have a ton of ways to kill it. Could also let it hit me so I can get infused value, but I don't think that makes sense when we could just go burst burst. The only thing that puts me on the clock is the bloodlust from Warlock. Or not the bloodlust, the pain from Warlock is a little bit tough. But also we just go like to... That doesn't seem right. Uh, I can kill Basalt. Actually, I can kill Basalt. Hold on. Because I definitely wasted one of my hits on Slate there for some reason. It seems reasonable. Even though Warlock's on 1 HP, he's not going to juggle himself because that is impossible. He couldn't do it. I know that. You can roll a Guardian, I feel it. Alright. Goodbye, Slate. Now, Prism or Scorpion Tail? I think Scorpion Tail is kind of a bait. It's not that good. I don't like taking the pain. The Weaken is very strong, but... I, you know, we could play Scorpion Tail because we have this, like, dodge on Fencer to maybe mitigate it. But do I really want my Fencer? You can only take it, like, once or twice, right? That's the problem. It kind of just kills you very quickly. I'm going to play Prism. I don't want to take two fours. What fight is this? Yeah. We could do... It's only two damage to all. That's not even that good. Give you a four damage to five. I'm going to play Prism on my red. That is the idea. Bloodless shield is whatever. Eight shield is good. Ding. Go off, Fencer. Thank you. Uh, honestly, perfect set of rolls. Can't complain. I'm just gonna pop the spiker here. And I will burst this wisp. Okay. I think you kill the spiker and two of the enemies on turn one, and you're probably winning. Strong feeling, probably. I can even miss some damage and be fine. Plus two hero HP for item poison. Uh, how many of my items could I take off? Take off this one, this one, this one, this one. So I'd only have three poison. I think it's probably good. I'll take it. Oh, poet. Good. Now I just need, all I need is a cleanse from my red and we are perfect. We are just cruising. It's completely over. Hmm. Just thinking. I'm gonna flute Warlock because he has more likelihood to roll X's, I guess, so he's gonna be re-rolling more often. Yeah, I'm good with this. Wanderer eats two poison. And it doesn't affect Defy, but that's okay. Thirteen is such a nice number. So many enemies have exactly thirteen health. Fanatics, I think Alpha and Spiker all have thirteen health. Even these guys have ten. So what I'm probably gonna do is blaze down Fanatic number one and go. Hitting this Fanatic is a waste though because it heals. So I'll just drop a Golem to one, and then let it heal to two. That seems fine. It's not a waste, he was going to heal anyway, I guess. But it feels like a waste. This golem is going to see God for a moment. Hello? Okay, acceptable. I mean, unacceptable poet, but... I have learned to live with that which we cannot control in life. Sometimes your poet goes XX. It happens. I didn't need him to roll anything anyway. 
One to all isn't that good here. Don't tell Whirl. That felt really bad. That cantrip shield fucked up my Wanderer, but it's okay. Triple Shuriken. I think Spike Stone is a horrific bait that you should never click. Triple Shuriken, though, I think it's pretty good on Fencer. You get double use out of it, which is nice. These do two and then four. Uh, I think so. And then we can also, depending on the fight, do uh, Prism, and we get a four damage rainbow play. Anyone have any ranged or anything? I don't think so. Okay, let's go. The ranged is mostly just good for Hexia, and we can use it to break through the cause if they are trouble. There, I'm looking forward to five, please. Thank you. Kind of just want to rip the bandage off and kill the chomp instantly. Doesn't seem all that great, but you know, it's actually fine. Except for the whole Warlock dying issue. Uh, probably better to kill the demon anyway. And Blaze Chomp is okay. I think this spot is fine. What the fuck? <laughs> What in the world? Uh, oh god. Okay. Uh-huh. Alright, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Give me a sec. Can I infuse? Infuse. Can I clink? That's the actual question. Is there a clink play here? No. I think they just got me. I don't think you can say anything else. I think they just got me. Sometimes it happens, definitely. I played this fight a little lazy. Like, this is my own fault, for sure, that I'm losing a character here. It's my bad, 100%. I'm not heavily punished for it, but, uh, yeah, my fault, 100%. Because what I there was a whole different set of ways that I could have played the last turn. I just kind of said, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's very unlikely that anything bad happens anyway. But uh, the cause did just decide Vampire was no more. But even that is something that's preventable. I just think that it's my own fault, 100%. Even though it looks like it's uh, just bad luck. This is a fate pickup, 100%, 1000% even. And we'll give fate. Uh, I'm actually, I'm down for the prism on fencer, because four to all clears all the imps, which is good. I don't have any cleanse, which is a shame, but I think we will make do. Okay, let's kick it. The more time Hexia spends summoning, I think the better off we are. It will be a little hard to save Warlock. But I can probably do it. Five damage, and then we can do a little bit of a charged play. I don't want this, I want to heal. Okay, fine. We're gonna go five to this imp, two to Hexia, or I guess we could do two to an imp, four to an imp, five to Warlock. I'm gonna put a blaze into Hexia for sure. Just dropping her to about half is good. And then she makes a demon, which is fine. The poison is ticking, so I need to be quick here. Five, four, four to all. I mean, perfect turn. Absolutely no problems here. Just across the board, everything is just right. Because then we go five to Hexia. Shield our boy. Blaze Hexia out. Burst here. That looks fine. I wonder if I can sneak in any rescues here. Do you think I can? What if I go, like, rescue? Looks okay. I'm gonna put the shield on Warlock first. Rescue. Blaze. 
Where did my five defy go? I think I defied into Hexia, which I didn't need to do last time around. Doesn't matter. You see, it's fine. I am disappointed in myself for letting fate die, but at the end of the day, I guess I can let it slide because I won. That item poison curse was interesting. I don't really know if it was worth it or not. It's kind of a hard call. Yeah, two deaths. Very disgusting. I don't know what's wrong with me. I will say, 122 X's rolled, it feels a little high. It's all. It just feels like a little bit higher than I would expect, considering the number of rolls. But I don't keep track, so I don't really know. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.